Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I am going to be sharing with you my completed pages for the month of May 2023. Um, I am having to completely re-record this video because I went to edit the video this morning and the file is gone. And I have a really awful feeling that I deleted that file off of my phone by mistake. Okay, so um, I I cannot even remember which books I had to pull out to show you, like the the whips and stuff that I had been working on. Um, but I will be filming a um, June plans video, so please look out for that and. I imagine those whips will be in there. Um, yeah, this has just sort of thrown me for a loop today, so <clears throat> please bear with me. Um, okay, so the first page that I would like to show you is from Cute and Magical. This is by um, Alexandra Franzis, and I coloured the first page in this book, and I just kept this really, really simple. Um, and this was just done with alcohol markers, a little bit of white jelly roll and then on these little water droplets here, that one and here, I used um, jelly roll stardust on those. So yeah, really, really cute book. Um, and I think with this, I would just be tempted to work through it in order. We'll see. I don't, I don't know. But um, I do really like it. Um, and Connor and I are going to be colouring this page together in June. Um, so, yeah. Really, really cute book. Oh, and that was for... Um, Hashtag Colour Your Hoard, which is being hosted by the beautiful ladies Lavella and T. I will link their channels down below, um, along with any other channels that I mention in this video. Also, if there are any books you see that you would like a flip through of, then please let me know in the comments and I will get that done for you. The next book is Cute and Hoppy. Again, this is by Alexandra Franzis. Um, this was my first book by her and ever since, yeah, I've been slowly um, collecting her books. I think her work is really, 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 really cute. And um, yeah, that it's the more simplistic style is definitely what has been appealing to me these last few months. Um, so Connor and I are working through this book together, um, he is one of my absolute best friends. Here on YouTube he has a very new channel, channel down below for you as well. Um, so yeah, please go check out his channel and show him some love. Um, his May Completed Pages video is available now as well. Um, so we did this one together with um, alcohol markers and then I've put some white, um, I believe this was the gravy paint marker. I used that for highlights. I've got some Jelly Roll Moonlight on the, the fluorescent yellow. I've put some clear Jelly Roll Stardust on the Bumblebee's wings. Jelly Roll Metallic here. On the inside of the little bunny ears that the pig is wearing. And then I have used um, a metallic silver Pento um, paint marker as well. And then these little stickers here in the background, they're just they're some stickers that I got from Hobbycraft that I thought matched the colours on here pretty well. So there's that one, that was a buddy colour. And then this one, I think this was a buddy colour with Connor as well. Again, um, alcohol markers. I used some Jelly Roll Glaze in black for the, the ladybird. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Um, I used Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic 
for the middle of the flowers. And then I used some Nuvo loose glitter for the heart on the, the flower pot. Um, and then I used again the gravy white um, paint marker to do the, the highlights and these little sort of sparkles and stuff. So there's that one. I did this one. Um, again, alcohol markers. Um, I think this is the white gravy paint pen for the highlights. There's some Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic. There is some Jelly Roll Stardust on there. And then also some of that um, silver Pentel um, metallic paint pen. This one. Alcohol markers, um, Jelly Roll Metallic, Jelly Roll Stardust, um, sorry, Jelly Roll Moonlight here in the middle of this flower, and then the uh, silver paint pen there on the wheel. But I was I was falling asleep, so yeah, I've got a couple of uh, wobbly bits there on that page. And then this one with the Vespa, which is so simple, very, very cute. The same sort of mediums that I've used on the other pages, really. So, um, yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm making good progress in the, um, the cute and hoppy, cute and hoppy book. It's, it's getting there. It's, it, you know, slowly but surely. So there's that one. So next by Alexandra Franzis is Magical Chibis and I coloured this page in here um, and I coloured her to look like Princess Peach um, because my beautiful friend Jamie from Jamie's Colouring Love, her, um, one of her hashtags for the month is um, hashtag enchanting year of colour and for the month of May, the prompt was princess. So I coloured this cutie to look like Princess Peach for Jamie's hashtag. So I have alcohol markers on here. And then I have some jelly roll metallic in a few places. Some um, um, jelly roll white. Yeah, just kept this one really simple, but I love how she turned out. I think she looks adorable. And then I've used some of the gold um, metallic Uniball Signal on the top of her crown there. Um, and because this was the first page in the book that I had completed, this also goes for hashtag Colour Your Hoard as well. Next, I have the Alice in Wonderland Grayscale Colouring Book. This is by Dave Summer, um, and Connor chose this page for me, and it was this one. So again, I've used alcohol markers. Um, so in this video, when I say alcohol markers, it will either be my 80 set of Oleap alcohol markers, or I do have the double set of the Ohuhu art markers, the skinny alcohol markers. I have um, two 48 sets. I have the pink set and the green set. Um, yeah, the, the colours of the labels. Um, yeah, so it'll it'll be you know either of those that I mean, and maybe a little bit of sharpie here and there, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> so just in case you were wondering um, so yeah this is alcohol markers and then I have used um, Jelly Roll Moonlight around these hearts here which I kind of wish I didn't do really I don't like how that looks 
Um, and then I've put the fluorescent yellow in the middle of these red flowers. Um, and then I've used black jelly roll glaze here for the little club symbol there that's on the spoon. Um, gold um, Uniball Signal Metallic. And then I have used um, some cranberry stickles on some of these little little decals on the, the hat and the teapot just to add a little bit of sparkle. Um, and then I added some of the um, Ranger, I think it's called, is it Ranger? rock candy something like that and you put it on with a brush and I used that to put on the sugar cube just to give it the texture and sparkle that you'd get from a sugar cube and I think that looks really quite cute and um, that was my first page in this book as well so that also goes for colour your hoard and oh there's also some um, jelly roll stardust on those little stars in his ears as well so yeah really cute that one next I have a graveyard gals by one of my absolute favorite artists Carla Magana this was a whip for a while so this is for my hashtag whipping the whips 2023 so on this one I used alcohol markers I did go in with some shading on her and I think I used the um, the Brute Funer um, 120 set of square pencils on her. I've got some more of these stickles here, um, stick stickers <laughs> from um, Hobbycraft, the circular stickers there. I've got some of those dotted around. Um, I've used Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic for the flowers down there on the grass and for her eyes and then I've got the Uniball Signo metallic gold for Rolf Jelly Roll Moonlight for the, the fluorescent pink highlights in her hair and on her sleeves and things um, I've used a white Jelly Roll for the, the highlights and the sparkles and stuff um, and then I've gone in with a black micron pen and I have added this rectangle in the black ground and then I've also written on the headstones so not your girl beauty queen and whatever um and then to finish it all off I've stuck some of the nouveau pure sheen confetti in the um the bluebell hearts and you can see those if I just turn the page so yeah, I really, really like how she turned out and I love how shiny and sparkly that page is. So there's that one. Next I have Matchstick Mouse Springtime by Morgan O'Brien. <clears throat> I coloured this page. This was with alcohol markers. Um, I cannot remember what I shaded this with. It was either the Artex 126 coloured pencils or the Brute Funa squares. I'm really sorry, I cannot remember. And um, where I'm re recording this, I don't have the original notes that had everything written down. So I used that. I used my Gravy um, white paint pen. I also used a yellow gravy paint pen um, and then I've put some uh, Ranger glossy accents on the eyes of our mouse and the little chick for a bit of texture and shine and then a tiny weeny little bit of um, jelly roll metallic just for some little pebbles and these little triangle bits in the bushes there at the back really cute there's that one. 
next I have um, Misfits, a winter fantasy colouring book, number 10. Um, the art for this is by White Stag. And this has been a whip for a really, really long time. So I'm really glad that um, we finally have this page finished. And it's this one. Um, so this was an alcohol marker base. And then I've um, gone in and I have shaded this with Crayola Twistable Crayons. So I've done that and then I've just added some Jelly Roll Metallic with the little moths there around her. I really like how they turned out. Um, I added some of the gravy paint pen to go over some of the circles in the background. Um, and then again the gravy white paint marker just to tidy up the white outlines that were already given just because I'd sort of gone over the lines in a few places so it was literally just to tidy that up but yeah that one's done um, so I've got a few done in this one now very very cute so there's that one next um, I have two Camellia Angel Cover books that I've worked in this month. So the first one is 50 Safari Miniatures. The first one is this one and this was a whip as well. So this is for my hashtag whipping the whips 2023. Um, and this is just alcohol markers with some white jelly roll on there some Crayola super tips for the um sorry not super tips Crayola twistable crayons for the shading jelly roll metallic for the, the straws and then I added these two butterfly stickers that I got from um WH Smiths they're a station is here in the UK um yeah I got these really really pretty stickers from there um, and then I use a fine liner just to go over these little flowers that I had drawn in on the pack, on, on the bottom of the page. And then um, I did this one. And this was a buddy colour with my beautiful youngest daughter, Emmy. I do have her page here. Let me show you. So this is Emmy's page and she used the um, Ohuhu alcohol markers on that and then she put um, some um, stickles, stickles glitter gel in the background and some red cranberry stickles on some of the hearts. Hers. And I helped her draw a, a circle here with a compass for her background. She wanted to do that. That's her page. Absolutely beautiful. And then this is mine. I used um, Olip alcohol markers on this. And then this really beautiful pale colour here. That was from the Ohuhu. Uh, and then I've used a jelly roll metallic to go in on the, the, the crocodiles spikes and on the butterflies there is some black jelly roll glaze there's the uniball signo metallic gold there is white um white jelly roll and then on the background up here i have used um stickles glitter gel um, I cannot remember the colour of that one. And then I used stickles in the colour waterfall down here in the water. Um, and I tried to do a gradient background, but sort of in lines and then sort of dot some of the colours into the next section down. It, yeah, I don't know, but it was something different. So that was my page. The 
and I did this one and this page was chosen for me by Connor again I will link his channel in the description for you um, and this was alcohol markers um, Crayola twistable crayons and um, white I don't know if it was the white jelly roll or the um, the gravy paint pen and then I've used a little bit of black jelly roll glaze on their noses if I just do that you can probably see them shining a little bit and then um, jelly roll metallic for their spots and I love how that turned out and again I just drew the circle around with a compass um, I think that's got to be my favourite page I've coloured in this book so far I'm really pleased with that one I did this one um, this was a buddy colour with Connor and Emmy Emmy hasn't finished her page yet but here's hers where is it so this is her page so far um, but she does still need to come in and finish it and I think she's doing such a beautiful job so far she's doing really really well so yeah she's got the colour of her draft spot on so cute so she's still working on that page at the moment and then here is mine I, I didn't want to give this one a background I just wanted to leave it as is so again, this is alcohol markers with Crayola Twistable Crayons over the top for the shading. And then just a tiny little bit of um, Jelly Roll on there. So yeah, really, really cute and simple. And then this one. And I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not pleased with this page, but it's, it's done. This was a whip. So this goes for my hashtag, Whipping the Whips 2023. This is alcohol markers, um, the gravy white paint pen, metallic jelly roll, Crayola twistable crayons. Yeah, that was it. Um, so yeah, you can probably see the, the metallic there on the spikes of the crocodiles so there is that one and then the next camellia book that i worked in this month was a new to me book and this is her 50 mythical miniatures and i have to say guys this has got to be my favorite out of all of her books um I've completed three pages. I've got two that are still whips at the moment. Um, okay, so the first page I coloured was this one. And I coloured this one on my own. Um, and this was alcohol markers. Again, Crayola Twistables. I used the Winsor & Newton Gold Drawing Ink to go over these bits here of his wings. Because I bought that ink a few years ago to use with a glass dip pen, but it's the wrong kind of ink. Um, and I've never been able to bring myself to throw it away because it's so pretty. And I thought, oh, I wonder if I dip my paintbrush in, if I can use it just as like a, a paint. And yeah, it worked quite nicely. So there's that. And then I've used Jelly Roll Stardust on the spots of our dragon. Um, I've done him the colours of Spiral the Dragon and then I have used white paint pen oh, excuse me just for some highlights on the petals here in our flowers and then I used some of the Nouveau Pure Sheen Confetti um, these are like holographic triangles that I've just put in the background um, again, I've got in with a compass, drawn the circle, and just coloured that with a black marker. Um, but yeah, I love how that one turned out. So this one, the Chimera, this is a buddy colour with my son Caden and Connor. Um, I'm really sorry, guys, about the noise. Um, it's so hot here so I do have to have the windows open but 
these motorbikes are driving me crazy um so yeah i just need to go in and add shading to that one. so that's a whip at the moment caden chose this page this was his favorite page in the book this is a minotaur and i used alcohol markers and um Oh, the uh, Brute Funa Square Pencils with the shading in the background. Again, a pretty standard thing where I put the circle in. It just makes some of these images feel a bit more grounded on the page. So I've done that. And then I've gone in with Black Jelly Roll Glaze for his hooves. There. And then the um, Uni Metallic Gold. Uh, paint marker there and the Pentel metallic silver um, paint pen on the axe um, I've used it here on these columns as well a little bit white highlights and again that was a buddy colour with Caden and Connor next is the Phoenix um, I need to finish this one now I used the Renaissance watercolor paints with the flames here at the bottom beautiful colors they're color shifting paints and I just I think they are incredible um, but they're wiping off the page and I don't know if it's that I've put the paint on a bit too thick I'm not sure but I feel a little bit disheartened at the moment, so I haven't come back to that one just yet. Um, and then I finished the Yeti. This was a buddy colour with Connor. And again, you know the drill. This is alcohol markers with Crayola Twistable Crayons on top. And then I've also added some stickles on here as well. Um, so I've added the stickles to the snow on the trees and on the ice and water and then I used my white um, jelly roll with the highlights and then metallic jelly roll for his tail beans which I just think is so cute and then Connor picked the rock bird yeah this one for me to colour as well so I need to do that one at some point but yeah I think considering you know I only got this book in May I think I've done really really well and like I said that is definitely my all-time favorite of Camellia's books so far I'm just gonna have a drink a second Okay, last two are Disney. So the first one is the Disney Grand Block Graffitis. This is by Hatchet Heroes. And, oh my gosh, I've just pulled the tag out. Well done, Kate. Here we go. So I coloured the Cheshire Cat. And this was a buddy colour with Connor. And I have to say, guys... If you go and check out Connor's com completed pages video for May, his page of this looks amazing. And not only that, it was his first time ever shading with pencils. So we worked on this together over a video call um, and I was just sort of explaining to him like how I how I shade and stuff like that so I was just sort of helping him a little bit but honestly his page looks amazing I'm so so proud um so yeah on this one we've used um alcohol markers um and then the black widow spider set of colored pencils for the shading <clears throat> And then I've used Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic up here for the ribbon. And then I've used um, Jelly Roll Stardust and Jelly Roll Moonlight down here for the, the bubbles. Which I 
think looks really cute. And then my this feels like the gravy paint pen to the highlights and the sparkles and things that I've added. And then I wrote on the hat with a black micron pen, the, the 10 over 6, um, as that's what's on the um, Mad Hatties hat. So, yeah, really, really happy with how that page turned out. <clears throat> and Connor and I are actually um, doing this as a buddy colour book. However, I do have a buddy colour in here with the lovely um, Megan from Disney Meg's Colouring. She's asked me to do a buddy colour in here this month and it was a Donald and Daisy page. Um, where is it? I haven't, um, I haven't flagged it yet. Oh, I've got um, a page missing at the moment from here. It's um, Madame Mim. That's one of my whips at the moment. But, um, yeah, I've got the. I need to flag this, um, this one. This page um, Megan has asked me to do with her, so let me put a flag there. So Megan and I are working on this one in June. So yeah, really, really beautiful book. Disney graffitis. And finally, <coughs> I have um, Disney Portraits Tome 2. Again, this is by Hatchet Heroes. And this was a whip from um, April. And it is the Madame Medusa page from The Rescuers. Um, so this is um, alcohol marker. I've used um, polychromos on here for the shading. And then I've used um, the gravy white paint marker and also a yellow paint marker as well. And then just here around the border is one of the Renaissance uh, watercolour paints as well. And um, yeah, really like how she turned out. I think my favourite bit of it is her eyes and her hair. Um, but yeah, I think I think this turned out pretty well. So that is it, my loves. That is my completed pages for the month of May. I think I completed twenty three. I think. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for joining and taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It's very much appreciated. Please keep an eye out for my next video, which will be what I plan to colour in the month of June. Um, if you have any requests for things you would like to see on the channel, then please feel free to reach out to me either in the comments or you can email or DM me on Instagram. But um, yeah, I hope you all have a really lovely rest of your day. Have fun, whatever it is you are doing, and I hope that the sun is shining for you as it is here for us. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye.